Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you are all, all doing well today. I really do hope that, man. Welcome back to Chelsea News, the daily series on this channel where I look across Chelsea News and pretty much tell you what's going on, offer you my opinion, more importantly, ask for yours, and we get into it from there, man. Today, we're going to be talking about two things. One's a rather large subject, something that I've spoken about on the channel before a couple of times, and that is Chelsea's intention to spend this summer transfer window. How Actually, they're probably the one of two clubs in the Premier League who are in a position to spend significantly. Of course, that is Chelsea Football Club and Manchester United who are looking into loan cash reserve to make themselves able basically to make any significant purchases this transfer window. And other clubs don't necessarily have that financial power, including the likes of Liverpool Football Club. That's right, champions of Europe, champions elect, best club in the world at the moment, Liverpool? They do have money, but perhaps not as much as the aforementioned two, and they really want striker Timo Werner. Timo Werner really wants Liverpool, but could there be a barrier that prevents this marriage from happening, and could Chelsea Football Club swoop in and buy the young German? That's the other story we will be talking about today. And in fact, it's actually quite interesting how Timo Werner's contract is structured, um, so he, you can tell he's been smart in the way he's done it to protect himself and basically leave the door open for him to exit Leipzig kind of whenever he wants. So it's a big one today guys and if you enjoy daily Chelsea Football Club content please do subscribe to Football Therapy and hit that all important bell notifications icon. Hey, only if you want to but if you want to please do drop a like on the video as well that helps me out a lot. Alright then, let's get into it. Before we talk about Timo time, let's talk about Chelsea Football Club. I mean, with Timo, we are going to be talking about Chelsea, but let's talk about the money. We all know throughout this global pandemic, all businesses and indeed individuals have been financially struck, even the likes of all Premier League clubs. Everyone will have to take a hit and we know the financial climate will be changed and the transfer window landscape also. All clubs have been coming out and speaking about this, even the likes of Jose Mourinho's Tottenham, everyone's going to have to find alternatives when freshening up the squad, whether that be player swaps or loans, it's going to be a difficult time. Now this is not necessarily the case for Chelsea, Chelsea have generated decent money on player sales these last few seasons. Have a look at this little graph here, this shows our Chelsea in the green and the positives for this season slash financial year, Liverpool have made a little bit as well but they are generally more tight. Ignore the fact how Manchester the United are in the red because they have done a sneaky to get some money up. <laughs> now, if you read any of the articles by the likes of Simon Johnston and Liam Twomey of The Athletic, or indeed have heard them speak on podcasts such as the TIFO Football Podcast or the Straight Out of Common Podcast, which is a pod put on by The Athletic, you will know that they are often echoing the sentiments of Roman Abramovich's intention to do a serious rebuild this summer. Now, this predates the pandemic by quite a lot. I released two videos on this about six months ago talking about how this summer is where Roman Abramovich wants to make some serious damage. Now of course that was six months ago when I was talking about that and a lot has changed and although finances will be a lot lot tighter due to the pandemic, the intention is still there and there are still financial resources for Chelsea Football Club to make significant purchases. Of course in yesterday's article by The Athletic, um, Simon Johnson speaks of how Roman Abramovich wants two marquee signings this summer. One may include the likes of Ben Chilwell, and you'd imagine the other to be a forward player, an attacker, a goal scorer. This approval of the said transfers is pretty much the same sentiment as Roman Abramovich has always maintained. Of he knows Frank Lampard has struggled this season in many ways with the lack of um, you know financial investment, and he wants to give his boy a chance to you know really make some damage at the top of the Premier League table and close that gap, as Frank Lampard keeps talking about. So the finances are there and they're in a unique position because no other clubs really have the ability to spend this transfer window. Also that would be the situation if you believe everything that's written, but I tend to because it's written by reputable journalists. Of course Manchester United are, is the other team mentioned with finances. Big surprise huh? The richest club in football certainly they generate the most revenue properly in English football, you know, they don't rely on foreign investment to buy big players, they've got such a good sort of marketing infrastructure, and they just generate loads of money generally. Although they don't have the money to spend this transfer window, Ed Woodward came out and pretty much said, look man, we have access to £150 million if we want via this method of loan. <laughs> Manchester United officials 
borrowing money against the club. We've heard that before, right? So Manchester United are very much in the race too. It's no surprise that both Man United and Chelsea Football Club are both being linked to big players such as Jadon Sancho. That's right, a big player that will cost a big transfer fee. Manchester United and Chelsea are the two clubs being talked about. Of course, Chelsea, because of the sort of romantic Chelsea fan side, you know, they want to replace it and Hazard, it makes a lot of sense. But Man United do have a glaring hole at right wing as well. He'd make a lot of sense there. And to be honest, they're the two clubs with money. So it's no surprise that it's these two clubs that are being mentioned quite a lot as well when it comes to the German striker, Timo Werner. Yep, it's going around the headlines again. Timo to Chelsea. Could it happen? Well, let's... First thing first, let's talk about this. Werner wants... Liverpool. He's talked about him loads, he's been flirting with him for a long time now, twerking if you will, and obviously we all know he had a long phone conversation with Jurgen Klopp, and he loves the German manager, he wants to go and play for, you know, the best team in England at the moment. And who can blame him, but I've spoken about this on recent videos, he doesn't really fit the striker mould of Liverpool at the moment. They use a false nine in F uh, Roberto Firmino, he drops deep, he joins the pressing system of the centre of the pitch, and both full-backs and wingers do all the damage within that Liverpool side. Whether it be Robertson or Alexander-Arnold or Mane or Salah, they're basically flank destruction FC. And that could work for Timo Werner, he plays pretty much on the left wing when he's coming in, uh, cutting in from the side, passing in, or indeed he's just running off the shoulder of the last defender. Interestingly, I got this um, passing sonar map from a Sky Sports article. It shows you where he's making all his passes. If you look, he's pretty much camped out on the left wing, passing in. That's not a centre forward that necessarily Liverpool use and really interestingly not necessarily a centre forward that Chelsea are looking for. Frank Lampard does like the fact how Tammy can run in behind and play on the shoulder. I think in many ways that's why he preferenced him over Giroud for such a long time because Chelsea do want a striker who can play with his back to goal but Giroud can absolutely do that. So you can tell Frank Lampard wants a bit of everything from this uh, centre forward. Really, Timo Werner doesn't necessarily fit the mould of either club, but what he can do is he can play on the wing at Chelsea, run in behind, and you know, if you look at how Chelsea played early doors, they tried to get balls over the top to Christian Pulisic, and Christian Pulisic was running in that channel that Timo Werner would be running in, and you could both probably deploy him as either a centre forward or a left wing, and he'd still successfully run in that channel. So. The thing is, he's a really quality player that scores a lot of goals. And Chelsea could really do with that. Yes, he wants to go to Liverpool, but if Liverpool don't uh, trigger his buyout clause this summer, which by the way, they have about 12 days left to do so, and then after that, the clause goes dead. I think they, well, they still have the ability to just bid on the player. And in 12 months time, the window opens again for the buyout clause to be 20 million pounds cheaper. It goes from like 55 million to 35 million thereabouts, which is really interesting. I think when Timo Werner signed this new deal a while ago with Leipzig, he put himself in a position where he was able to exit the club for another big club if it came along. So it's quite a smart move really in terms of how the deal is structured. You'd be forgiven for thinking this is mental, right? 55 million for such an elite goal scorer is a pretty good deal. Why aren't Liverpool going for it? Well, if they don't have the money to spend, that's kind of fair enough. They might want to just wait for another 12 months. He's still very young. He could have another good season in the Bundesliga and say, look, we'll buy you for 35 million, mate. Just wait, you know, you've spoken to Klopp on the phone, stay in Germany come then for even cheaper. You'll still be young, you can properly take over one of our forwards then. Could make sense. Also, perhaps Liverpool have thought about what I was saying at the top of the video and perhaps he doesn't fit them already perfectly for Liverpool Football Club at the moment. It could be the situation, I'm not so sure. The thing is for Timo Werner, if Chelsea are looking for quality in a marquee signing, he of course is that profile. The problem is, does he fit Frank Lampard's plans? And also, does the player want to come to Chelsea? If the player wanted to come to Chelsea, I'm, I sort of reckon Chelsea would have no problem playing £55 million if it suited all parties in terms of target player player wants to come to Chelsea. For me, I, I'm always going to have that feeling of, well, he wants to go to Liverpool. I don't want like a, to be like Chelsea to be a second option. Do you know what I mean? It's a difficult one because he is absolutely quality if he turns up at Chelsea. 
hopefully he just rips it up. Still, we will have to see. Obviously, he's going to be £20 million cheaper next summer. Leipzig, uh, Julian Nagelsmann, everyone's admitted that he will go. They won't be able to hold on to him long term. Whether that means this summer or next summer, we'll have to see. But he would certainly fit the bill of one of Roman Abramovich's two statesman signings. They could sign Werner, Chilwell. That would be very you know, two very high profile signings. I know everyone's not too hyped on Ben Chilwell, but if the gaffer wants it, Anyway, what do you guys think? I want your thoughts and opinions on Werner as the stories heat up across football media. I'm interested in getting the collective Chelsea fan opinion, so do get down into the comments section below and express yourselves, please. I'll be down there interacting with you guys, and if you've enjoyed the content, please do like this video. That means a lot to me, and do subscribe to Football Therapy if you're new to the channel. And finally, you're welcome to follow me on social media, at Football Yannick, on Instagram or Twitter. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that is starting soon and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle, yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me baby.